Over the last couple of years, everybody's gotten really excited about drones, right? Flying machines that we can control. Flying machines that are under our agency and volition. I can see that people have come out of the woodwork, hobbyists are emerging in store, everybody's obsessed with drones, and of course the technology has improved exponentially over the last couple of years. And I think today for the first time I had a revelation, I finally understood the power of the drone. And it took me back to my childhood. Now you guys remember the first time you got a remote controlled car. There came a moment where you assumed that this remote controlled car was now a part of your mental scaffolding. This was the feeling that you felt with a remote controlled car. Now of course you grow up and you get over silly things like that um, because fundamentally it's a toy. But I think what the drone has done is it has brought back that excitement of controlling an external vehicle and bringing it under conscious control. And there's precedent for this idea, for what's going on in the mind during these moments. It goes back to the work of the cognitive philosophers David Chalmers and Andy Clark. They wrote uh, Natural Born Cyborgs. They wrote the Extended Mind Thesis. They were talking about how devices such as smartphones have become part of our cognitive scaffolding. They're beyond the skin bag, but they're still tethered to the contents of our mind. Our mind, a feedback loop of brains, tools, and environment. So realizing that minds like ours are made for mating with non-biological props and scaffoldings, you can see then the invigoration the freedom, the liberation that the drones bring to our cognitive apparatus because the drone frees us from huh, gravity. It frees us from the limitations of our weighing bodies on the floor. It frees us into the feeling of flight. And so for the mind, especially when you have you know drones that can be connected to the screen where you can see the drone's POV, I mean, I think that you literally mind mesh with it and eventually the drone starts to feel like a part of your mind decoupled from your body, radically extending the boundaries of selfhood. And of course, this is a really fun experience. It's freeing, it's liberating, it feels like you can fly. You know, it, it's, it's akin to the childlike historical desire to, to move beyond our limitations, to soar above the heavens. And it, you know, it's really exciting to witness the nascency of such an industry that is a literalization of a human dream that has persisted through millennia. So that's drones.